a lot of rappers still it seems like want to be Tupac. They want to have his popularity. They want people to love them like they everyone loves him. But why do you think no one's succeeding? <laughs> well, because I, this is what they fail to realize about Tupac. In order for them to be Tupac, they would have to die before they peaked. Right before they peaked, they would have to die. So if you don't like, you don't die. You, you can't do it. Bottom line, if you don't go die. You're not gonna be the next two five, cause it ain't gonna be the next two five. Straight up. Loyalty has no expiration date. When Tupac and Biggie died, I died with him. I'm just home is here with the truth. I can't wait to meet him. So you're not dissing none of my family. Tupac, Biggie, my brothers. They going, y'all disrespect them, I'm taking your heads off. Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your homie Gab, I'm in the building. And this is Machiavelli Media. Y'all heard the homie Tretch just now. Tretch from Naughty. Naughty by nature. Brick City in the house. Tretch said he died with Tupac and Biggie. And he just here to haunt you niggas with the truth. <laughs> Yeah, that's dope. That's really dope. Because in a sense, that's what we do. We haunt you niggas with the truth when it come to Pac. You know, all the people that like to try to change the narrative, they try to make Tupac any and everything they want him to be, but won't fail to admit Tupac was what he was. And we had to come along and remind him, yeah, we know who Machiavelli the Dawn was. And we know you lying. Out of all the Tupac's homeboys, I'm talking mainstream, I think Tretch probably rides the most for Pac. You know, when certain individuals want to say this, they want to say that, they want to talk crazy, they talk out the side of their necks. Tretch steps up. I will say that. You know, some people want to debate how close Pac and Tretch was at the end of Tupac's life. I do not know. But what I do know and since Tupac been gone, I know who been beating that motherfucking pavement and who been willing to step up to any challenges concerning Tupac, and that's been Tretch. You know, Snoop right out there with whack. I ain't never heard of no friction between Snoop Dogg and Wack 100. There's some other individuals in New York City with Funk Master Flex, and most recently, DJ Clark Kent. I ain't heard of no friction. But if Tretch is involved, yeah. Yes, sir. Tretch is stepping up. But he said he died with Tupac and Biggie. And people will wonder, well, how do he mean he died? He's here. He means since then he ain't been the same. The thrill is gone. That whole era of hip hop is completely different. And it's dead. Every now and then, people get an itch. They got to have scratched and, you know what I mean? That type of hip hop come back for a minute and then it's back to this new garbage. It's garbage. Garbage. It ain't what it was. The thrill is gone. BB King style. To me, hip hop died with Tupac. You got a couple artists that, you know, try to keep it going. 
But the thrill is gone, man. And I feel trash. He said he had to haunt niggas with the truth. Now, I haven't heard Tretch really defend Biggie, per se, because I haven't heard Biggie really get the public slander that Tupac gets. You know, it took damn near 30 years to get Tupac a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and job well done to the countless fans and friends and family that helped made that happen this week yeah but with that and before that there's a lot of unjustifiable criticism for Tupac a whole lot of haters that still walk the earth they still troll these YouTube videos and specifically, take that time out to YouTube search new Tupac videos just to leave bullshit comments. Now, that's got to be a serious Pac fan right there. If you hate him so much, why the fuck are you watching all videos about him? DJ Clark Kent. Tupac lied on Biggie, you hate him so much. Why even entertain his name? See, when you talk Tupac's name, you bring life. That's right. You bring life back to a man, to a legend that's been dead for almost 30 years now. See, the key is to keep speaking his name. For the fans out there, for the haters out there, Keep talking about Pac. Because the more you talk about Tupac, it's one thing for certain. He'll never die. And that's a fact. But yeah, back to Tretch. Some people want to throw dirt on Tretch's name. They want to throw dirt on the relationship or the status Tretch had with Tupac. When I hear Tretch talk, I hear Tretch refer to Tupac as his brother. That's what he called him. I heard Pac get mad at Stretch because Stretch was hanging with Biggie. But I never heard Pac get mad at Tretch for doing the same. And what's ironic is that both Tretch and Stretch, uh, P. Big Stretch from the Live Squad, they both said they met Biggie through Tupac. So at one point in time, it was one big happy family. But once again, I'm strictly focusing on what Tretch said when he said he died with Pac and Big. And he just here to haunt niggas with the truth. See, long as people to know the truth speak out. People that want to paint false pictures and create false narratives can't. Because the truth a Trump a lie any day of the week. And that's a fact. Anyway, I need you guys to turn on them post notifications so you'll be the first ones to get it when I drop that shit. Don't forget to sub to the channel. This is Machiavelli Media. Get a video a big thumbs up. And oh yeah, look down right now in the comment section. Post in the cash app. Summertime, y'all, it's just getting started. I got so many things I want to try to do with the channel. So many of y'all be giving me so many ideas. You done blew new life and enthusiasm in me. Let's make it happen. All right? The closer I get 
to my goals, I'll start announcing them and we can pursue them further. Anyway, it's been a pleasure as always. I'm your homie Gab. I'm signing off. I'm about to hit y'all with the peace.